I'm in, I'm in trouble with my friends. <laughs> I'm in trouble with my friends because my friends, they're always like, oh, I'm so for the environment. Oh, I'm so for recycling. But then the moment you serve them a glass of water from the dehumidifier, <laughs> watch their values change. <laughs> I gave my friends options. I was like, do you want tap water or breath water? He was like, whatever, brother. And then he tried it. He's like, this tastes like mildew. I was like, it's because it's condensation. <laughs> My favourite mall in Auckland is <laughs> Sylvia Park. Because <laughs> I know eh, wherever I am in Sylvia Park, I know where I am, right? Because it's a line. <laughs> like, oh, I'm standing in front of a warehouse and a no leaming. Oh, I must be on the right side of Sylvia Park. Oh, I'm cold. I must be in the middle of Sylvia Park. <laughs> oh, I'm at Spotlight. Oh, I've somehow crossed the road. <laughs> oh, I'm in Strand Bags. Oh, I'm lost. <laughs> no one's ever been in a Strand Bags on purpose. <laughs> Never. And if that's why I love Sylvia Park, the one more I can't stand is Dress Mart. Fuck Dress Mart. <laughs> The deals are never worth getting lost. <laughs> Every time I'm in Dress Smart, I feel like a rat stuck in a cage being traced by a minotaur trying to give me a tank juice. <laughs> I have no idea where I am whenever I'm in Dress Smart. One time I was in the Onihanga Dress Smart, I walked outside, I was like, why the fuck am I in Hornby? <laughs> How did I end up here? It's ridiculous. <laughs> Anyone want any water? <laughs> I stopped drinking, and I think the worst part about not drinking is when I go to parties, people keep asking me about why I don't drink. And so what I've started doing to blend in is I've just started drinking red food colouring. <laughs> I just started drinking, drinking this. see me now they think I'm unapproachable <laughs> no one wants to come near me people just come up to me going David is that, is that gingivitis <laughs> I'm like no I, I just work part time as a tampon <laughs> that's, that's all I do I will eat your lining like a spaghetti dinner mm. <laughs> I've lost you <laughs> okay <laughs> Okay, let's get weirder. Um, <laughs> sick. Uh, this is my impression of a mime finding out that his family has been brutally murdered. Okay, that's mime finding out that his family's been brutally murdered. Okay, let's do this. finding out that his family's been brutally murdered. Did, did you get that? Did you get that? Because mimes don't talk crazy, okay. I feel like that was way funnier than you gave me credit for. It. But I feel like a lot of you are looking at me going, David, what? You didn't need to take off your shirt for that bit. <laughs> at all. I was like, That's it. Oh, thank you. 
<laughs> rice. <laughs> Do you guys like rice? <laughs> rice. <laughs> Do you guys like rice? <laughs> this whole this whole show has been a lie. <laughs> It was butter chicken the whole time. It was butter chicken the whole time. <laughs> oh, oh, how was the comedy show that you went to last night? <laughs> I watched Benny Wise eat a butter chicken. That's <laughs> what I saw. I want to be an artist. <laughs> but I'm an artist with no cause, you know, until I found one. Uh, it's animals. I love animals, you know. <laughs> Whales! Whale! I watched this documentary called Blackfish. Seen this about whales, a sea world, and they weren't being treated right, but because of the documentary, they got rid of the whales at sea world. Wow, yeah. But now there's heaps of empty boxes in sea world. This is my audition for sea world. <laughs> That's all I'm trying to say. This is my audition for sea world. Play the music. You can play the music. <laughs> <laughs>